welcome to the Carolina Sports District, the number one youth sports show in the Carolinas. FTC Cadet Bills, you know what to say. TCSD, let us go! Another great week of games and highlights to bring you on today's show. The playoffs are near as the regular season starts to come to a close. We are definitely looking forward to those playoffs. On today's show, we'll announce the winners of last week's Game of the Week, the player of that game, and we'll tell you what two teams will be battling it out in this week's Game of the Week. As always, we'll announce our pound for pound top 20 rankings where we'll introduce a new league, the Southland League. We'll also have highlights of that league on the show for the very first time. But first, let's kick off the show with some Thursday football. We start off our highlights at Community House Middle School where they rivaled Alexander Graham, also known as AG. So I'm going to call it AG. It was definitely a crowd with all those pink shirts for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Great to see that support. So we start with a scoreless first quarter. Now the first play in the second quarter was a touchdown from two yards out. Community House defense making it hard there for AG with a big time sack. AG shakes the sack off, finding a passing rhythm as number five makes a nice grab for a five yard touchdown. Number one helps Community House regain the lead with a two yard touchdown himself. The next drive, AG answers back with another touchdown pass, this one for 15 yards. Community House found a way to win this battle with this two yard touchdown run. AG loses in a dogfight, 14 to 22. <laughs> Let's cross the city now to Ridge Road and Alexander. Hello, a big hit there on number seven. Welcome to middle school, man. Ridge Road wastes no time with the running attack with a two yard touchdown by number 22. Alexander tries to get going with a nice reverse by number 22 with a 20 yard run. That deserves a couple of flips. Ridge Road quarterback boots for a 50 yard touchdown. Ridge wins this one 26 to zero. Moving to Saturday football, Rocky River High School, we start with the little guys. The Tiny Might Derrida Bulldogs versus Mooresville Powerhouse. I love that name, Powerhouse. Powerhouse number 33 lives up to the name as he goes 55 yards for a touchdown. Later, number nine pulls off a little trickery with a 34 yard off tackle TD with a nice block. Bulldog defense began to slow down the powerhouse, but powerhouse holds off the dogs. Bulldogs losing zero to 20. The same teams face each other in the JV division. Some more of that misdirection as Powerhouse's number 20 goes 38 yards for the game's first touchdown. Powerhouse dominated with a big tackle for a loss there. Game 0 to 16 at the half. Powerhouse goes off tackle for a 25 yard touchdown. Bulldogs lose this one as well, 0 to 30. Same field, different teams now. We have the Tiny Mite Mooresville Bulldogs, this time versus the Cabarrus Jaguars. It was homecoming for the Jags. Oh, look at the little guys with their parents. How sweet. And they even have a mascot. All right, high five. Now to some football. Jags attack quick with a 51-yard touchdown by number 12. He is gone. Later, a 53-yard dump pass for a TD. Look at those little legs move out there. Bulldogs get a little spark of life with a fumble recovery. But Jags return the favor and some returning this fumble for a 43-yard touchdown. Bulldogs lose this one 0 to 44. Now we go to the varsity teams. We can't have a homecoming without a homecoming queen, right? Congrats to that winner, beautiful girl. Dogs go to the air for the game's first score with a 27-yard pass for a touchdown. Jags quarterback bootlegs for a first down. Do we smell a comeback? 
Dogs say no with this tough 10 yard touchdown. Dogs win it 24 to zero. Now to the pro guys. Some of these guys actually have the size of pros. That's crazy. We have the Mint Hill Steelers taking on the Jags this time. Scoreless in the first quarter, Steelers make a big time goal line stop for a turnover on downs. <laughs> Quarterback sneak for the Jags, puts the Jags on the board first. Extra point, no good. Steelers find an answer with a 29 yard toss for a touchdown and the two point conversion was good. Steelers up eight to six. But the Jags were not done there as the Jags quarterback again takes a boot for a touchdown and the lead. Steelers score again and put the nail in the coffin with a 15 yard quarterback boot for the touchdown. Steelers win this one 24 to 14. <laughs> We now go to Wilson Middle, where those dangerous Mighty Mike Bears took on G-Top Cowboys. Bears defense proving their worth as a ranked team with a tackle for a loss. Number 33 then goes 53 yards as he reverses sides of the field for a touchdown. Bears then go to the air with a nice grab for a 23-yard touchdown. Bears win it 41-7. And now for that game of the week at Alexander Middle, where last week's pound for pound number five ranked cadet Clemson Tigers took on number 15 FTC Bills. Bills defense looked ready to play as they swarmed the ball all day. Coach's game plan as the game stayed locked up 0-0 zero zero at the half. Later in the game, Bills quarterback number five completes a 16-yard pass to number four for the game's very first touchdown. Clemson marched down on his last drive to tie and possibly win the game on the fourth down deep in Bills territory. Bills make the big time stop here, once again proving that they are not to be taken lightly, winning in a true dogfight, 6-0. We made it out to the FTC Bills practice this week to award the player of the game with a McDonald's gift card and pink wristbands in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. My name is Keyshawn. I'm number five player for the FTC Bills. And I want to thank Keyshawn for catching the ball and Coach Tank for defending on me. And I want to thank my mom. Number five threw the pass for the only touchdown scored in the game. And he contributed in many other ways that helped his team win. Way to go, number five. This week's game of the week is between the PYFL JV Vikings and the JV Panthers. Vikings were number one last week in the pound for pound top 20 rankings and the Panthers have only lost one game. If the Panthers win, there would be a three way tie for number one in their league. Can the Vikings cripple the Panthers? Vikings, Panthers, oh my bad. This week's tip of the week is to be competitive in your sports and also in school. The same hard work, determination, and power that you bring to the field, bring to the classroom. Remember, always strive to be the best. Now we announce our pound for pound top 20 rankings for this week. Remember, this is a constant battle between the best of the best. No spot is safe. Even new leagues are coming in. The more leagues we get, the less spots open to you. Don't you leave your A game at the door. Bring it every time. And that brings another show to a close. We're looking forward to the games coming this weekend. Make sure to continue to check us out on Twitter and Facebook and to catch us right here every Friday night on YouTube. Now pay close attention to Facebook this week. We're going to be making some announcements with ways for you to contribute to the show. And don't you forget, if you see me out there at your field, come on forward. Take a picture with Brianna B and say cheese. And there you have it.